And this, this slide simply summarizes the, the proof that we just did so that you will have a, a placeholder in your, in your notes for the argument. There's a little bit more detail, and we, we just did it. But now we want to talk about the interval order algorithm. It consists of four steps, and there's a loop in the middle. So we start by computing for each element x the downset. Now, that's in the spirit of the proof that we just did. And then you look at the downsets and see whether or not any two are incomparable. Incomparable in the sense of set inclusion. If the answer is yes, then you're going to conclude that your given post set is not in integral order because you will have found a 2 plus 2. Let's pause right there and take an application to make sure that you see what is involved. I'm going to take a post set, not a very big one. It's going to look sort of like my other one, but not exactly. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I, I just threw up some labels. So we begin the algorithm by recording all the downsets. I'm going to write down from A, down from B, down from C, down from D, down from E, down from F, and down from G. All right. To show you how bold and fearless I am, I'm going to do down from A. There's nobody down from A. You do the others. For each element, write the set of things. Be selectively lazy and don't write squiggles or commas. Just put the string of symbols. I'll do another one. Uh, that's a, I, I can't read my own writing. I, that's a C. I don't have my glasses today, so I have to look at the screen to see it. I, I, I can't see what I'm writing. If you know what you're doing, just keep working. If you're a little bit lost, let's do it together. What's down from C? Empty set. Down from D? A, B, C, not D, E and F? Did I get it right? This is just a set, so it doesn't matter the order. What's down from E? B and C? What's down from F? We go from E also have F and F. Oh, down from E as B, C, A, and F. The order is not important. This is just a set. Just a set. And I'm, I'm being selectively lazy. I'm not drawing the squiggles or the commas. But I'm talking about a set. Down from F? A. A. Down from G? C. C. Okay. Now, I've made a calculation for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Se there's seven elements in my post set. I've got seven down sets. Pick up any two down sets. Is it always the case that one of them is a subset of the other? Is that statement true or false? False? If I take which one? B and F. Oh, 
One is singleton C and the other one is singleton A. So singleton A is not a subset of singleton C and singleton C is not a su subset of single A. Hard to argue with them, right? So what he did is he located this set and this set and neither is a subset of the other. Now, when one subset is not a subset of another subset, when, you, when two sets look like this, what is it that prevents them from being comparable by inclusion? There's something in this one which is not in that one, and there's something in this one which is not in that one. Are you with me? All right, now, let's look at this line. It says C is less than B. What does this line say? A is less than F. What does that form? 2 plus 2. There is your certificate for a no answer. So you were asked, is the post set an interval order, and you made that calculation, and out came a certificate for a no answer. So you say to the boss, you wanted an interval representation, but you can't have it. The boss screams, I want it, I want it, I want it. And you say, no, I can't give it to you. No one can. And here's the two plus two that prevents there from being an interval representation. 